I'm the bikini wax inspector. <laughs> Hello, Jackson. No, no, oh, no. I was just practicing for the church choir. Uh, oh yeah. Hold on. Uh, okay. Hey, your father. Oh. Hey, Dad. Oh, Mom. Why does she do that? Does she not want to talk to me? What? Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Ryan says hi. Hello? <laughs> Bad connection. Excited about what? Nothing. My mom has a layover in L.A., and she wants my sister Martine to meet us here so we can all have dinner together. That's all. I'm coming to get you. No, I'm going to get you. Come on. What? I thought we agreed you wouldn't make unilateral decisions. I mean, especially ones concerning your mother. <laughs> You mean I have to ask for permission for my mother and sister to join us for dinner? At my house? <laughs> All right. So why do you hate my mother so much? Why shouldn't I? She's the reason we didn't last more than six months the first time we were married. That's not true. She was your divorce attorney. <laughs> yeah, she was free. She asked for the death penalty. <laughs> Long ago, you were flying free in the wild. <laughs> uh, now you're bald and lifeless. Oh, God. You're... Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. Come in, it's open. What took you so long? I got here as soon as I could. Oh, God, what's that smell? <laughs> Murder. Murder, most foul. Coco, I need you to stuff my goose. I thought that was Jackson's shop. Coco! Okay, okay, don't worry. I brought cooking sherry, see? Aren't we supposed to marinate something in that? Yeah, us. Cheers. <laughs> okay, what else are we cooking? Oh, Jackson's mother's favorite German dishes. We've got verse salad with pork, sauerkraut chowder with pork, Sweet candied potatoes with pork, German potato salad with pork, and roasted goose stuffed with pork? Of course. Gosh, I haven't seen this much pork and going on since college. <laughs> you feel better now. Well, as good as I can feel, knowing that in less than two hours, Jackson's mother's gonna be sitting in my dining room destroying my life. Oh, Ryan, she can't be as horrible as you make her out to be. She's your worst nightmare. She's a mother-in-law with a law degree. She's Allie McBitch. Hey, guys, be careful. You're gonna break something. Look, I got it under control, babe. I'm an architect. <laughs> Move to the left. Move to the left. There you go. Jackie, just because I'm gay don't mean you can tell me what to do. At least not with your clothes on. <laughs> oh, you just bought yourself a table? Uh, now what are we gonna serve dinner on? Don't worry, all right? I'll fix it. I'm an architect. Babe! Stand it up. Now watch it. Don't move it. I'll be right back. I got it under control. Ah, oh, hello, peoples. Hey, everybody. Oh, my God, what's that smell? It's up here, too, babe. Oh. Guys, what are you doing here? You're two hours early. Yes, I know. I need a time to set up. Yeah. I prepared every one of Mother Muse's favorite dishes. I've got verse salad and sauerkraut chowder and sweet candy potatoes and German potato salad and da -da -da. stuffed goose. <laughs> Paula took a German cooking class. Mm -hmm. Paula also knew that this is exactly what I was preparing for dinner. Really? Yes. It doesn't smell the same. <laughs> I just imagine how it's going to taste. I say we use Paula's goose. This one's not cooperating. No, we're not. You 
using Paula's food, okay? Now keep stuffing. Hey, Jackson. Oh. Ryan is being totally unreasonable. It's only fair that we share the privilege of feeding our mother. What are you talking about? Look, uh, here's the deal. We are doing the appetizers, the salads, the entrees, and the desserts. Yes, and then you can do the water, the coffee, and the after-dinner cleanup. And maybe we'll let you even keep the leftovers. Or you two can go home. Huh? Come on, Jackson. She's my mom, too. Oh, is that why we're brothers? <laughs> Just give me a hand over here, will you? Baby, that's not going to work. Yes, it will. The force generated from the tabletop will keep the stick in place. Watch this. I know these things because I'm not an not... architect. Yes, we, we know. know. <laughs> See? Solid surface. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, Hi. get our stuff. Dinner's moved to our house. No, it isn't here, Jerome. Put, here, put this stool under there, Mr. Architect. All right, but this is not up to code, all right? You know what? Now, everybody but Coco. Out of the kitchen, okay? I only have an hour and a half before your mother and your sister get here. But I think really think that out! <laughs> Jackson, get that. Got it. Mama! <laughs> My baby. Where's your beautiful hair? Ryan's idea? Mom! Mom! Oh, I'm so pleased to... You're so needy. Hey, Mom! I'm sorry. I don't remember giving birth to you. I'm Nigel's fiance. Oh, Patrice. Yeah. Paula. Oh, well, which one is it? <laughs> Honey, please do me a favor. Don't call me mom. It confuses me. Hi, I'm Jerome. Ah. And I know exactly who you are. The law less. Oh, my goodness. Jackson, this woman cannot possibly be your mother. She doesn't look a day over 30. Pilates. Oh, Miss Honey, I can see that. Yes, Mrs. Mills. <laughs> Please, call me Mom. Hi, I'm Coco, a friend of the family. Oh, your skirt's too short, dear. This is a dinner, not a disco. Krista, you're early. <laughs> no, actually, oh. I'm two marriages too late. God, what is that smell? Uh, it's helpless animals. Your favorite. <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna go get ready. What are you doing? These people are hungry. I'm trying to decide what to wear. What do you think? Does this go with bitter mother-in-law? It doesn't matter. Just put on anything except that. No. Oh, look, I didn't mean that. It, it, just put it on, it's fine. No way. Your mother will make it the topic of conversation the entire night. I thought you women liked talking about clothes and stuff. Stop being oblivious, Jackson. What are you talking about? I'm not oblivious. Did you hear what your mother said to me downstairs? Uh, hello, Ryan? Oh, you know, I am so sick of you not paying attention to what is going on between me and your mother. You have to wake up and pick a side because I'm not going through this again. Okay. Look, Brian, come here, come here. She doesn't have anything against you, yeah. all right? Look, she's always protected us. She felt she had to because we're biracial. You know, a white lady with three little black babies. But just ignore her, okay? Let her be the queen bee. That's what we do. There is no ignoring your mother. <sighs> Babe. Okay, I'll do it your way. No confrontations? I said I'll ignore her. <laughs> Thank you. You're the best. Come on. Change your shirt. <laughs> What's wrong with my shirt? <laughs> Mom, Here. look, Paula took a German cooking class to learn how to prepare your very favorite of everything. Here, I have your favorite appetizer. Popcorn shrimp? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Jackson, look, your sister's here. Hey, Martine. <laughs> hey, Junebug. June, nobody calls me Junebug anymore. Yeah, but I do. <laughs> Martine. Hey, Ryan. Hey, girl. Now, you know I can't believe you wanted back in this crazy family after you got out. <laughs> you stop it, Martine. You're encouraging her. No, Mother, I'm warning her. Uh, Ryan, Jackson, this is my friend Candace. She was nice enough to drive with me all the way here from Sedona. Hey, nice Candace. to meet you. How is your practice going, Dr. Muse? It's going very well, Dr. Muse. All my cages are full. Cages? What are you, a shrink? 
No, I'm a veterinarian. Oh, do you specialize in dogs? Because I got this boyfriend I'd like you to look at. <laughs> well, all I can do is neuter him and put him to sleep. Hmm. Do you have a card? <laughs> you must be proud, Mom, with so many doctors in the family. Yes, all except one. Right, Ryan? Mom, be nice. What are you talking about, Jackson? I'm always nice. I'm not the one who convinced you to throw your life away. Well, cut it out. Come on. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go check on the table. What are you doing, Paula? Where are my dishes? What? You didn't expect Mom Amuse to eat off of that mismatched crockery, did you? Lucky for you, I had a full set of china in the trunk of my car. Well, whose food are you putting on the table? Look, Ryan, uh, we voted. Sorry. Jackson. Oh, they went upstairs. Martine, you can't do this. Why? Because you will upset her, and you know how she gets when she's upset. She takes it out on me. Well, if you weren't so busy kissing her butt all the time, then maybe you'd see it coming. <laughs> what are you guys doing up here? Oh, excuse me. We're having a little family meeting, OK? Oh, excuse me. It's nice to meet you, Ryan Muse. <laughs> no, Ryan's right. She's part of the family. I'd love to hear what she has to say. Right, cool. My brothers seem to think that I shouldn't tell my mother that I'm a lesbian. What do you think? You're a lesbian? Wow. So you don't like pork either, huh? <laughs>
offices? It's pretty much wherever he opens his laptop. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like much of a company. <clears throat> Why would you leave a perfectly good job for nothing? Mom, they cut all my health benefits. I didn't have a choice. If you had become a doctor, you would need health benefits. You could operate on yourself. <laughs> Things are going really well with me, Mom. I'm about to open a new dental office. That's nice, Nigel. Everyone needs clean teeth. Whose idea was it for you to go into business for yourself? Oh, come on, Krista. Jackson's fully capable of making his own decisions. The same way he decided to become an architect? Can we please change the subject? Ooh, Candace, I love your ring, girl. Thank you. And just who has the other half of your heart, girl? Martine. So, did anyone else see Ray? <laughs> I think Jamie Foxx is a shoe in for an Oscar. Uh -huh. Forget about Jamie Foxx. I want to know more about that ring. <laughs> Jackson, why do you continue to allow yourself to be led down the wrong path? Just please tell me you two aren't planning to have children. At least not while you're alive. <laughs> Nigel and I are planning to have children. Three, two boys and a girl, just like you, Mom. I mean Mrs. Muse. That's nice, dear, but I only wanted two. Wait, which two? Nigel, you ask too many questions. Warum hörst du auf sie? Du wolltest als werden. Mom, du bist unfreundlich. Lass uns Englisch sprechen. All right, then. You wanted to be a doctor until she came along and changed your mind. That's just not true. Yes, it is. All you children wanted to be doctors like your father. I did it. I did, Mom. Oh, God. No, no, I didn't, Mom. You know what? Everything I ever did was for you, just so you would notice me. I hate you. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I'm sorry, Mom. I take that back. I love you. Nigel, that's what drives me crazy about you. Your indecisiveness. <laughs> and as for you, Martine, I certainly think I know what my children want. No, you don't, Mom. You never ask. That is not true. When you were seven, I asked if you wanted to be a doctor. And you said yes. Yeah, and then you gave me back my bag of candy. <laughs> Brian, you're right. There's no use in pretending anymore. Mom, I'm gay. <laughs> I hope that means you're happy. Yes, I am, when I'm with Candace. Who put you up to this? Ryan? Did she make you gay? All right, look, Mom, that's enough. No, I didn't I... make her anything. I just simply suggested she be herself. Yeah. You know, you have done nothing but wreak havoc in this family since the first time we met you. Why do you insist on meddling with my family? I am not meddling, Krista. Your children can't talk to you about what is going on with them, so they talk to me. And for the record, this is my husband, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, and my future sister-in-law. My family, too. And if you can't handle that or it makes you feel threatened, I'm sorry. Because you're not running me off this time, Krista. I'm not going anywhere. And another thing, since you don't seem to be very happy unless someone is constantly kissing your ass, I don't understand why Nigel's not your favorite son. Jackson? Take me to the airport. Jackson. Mom, first I think you owe Ryan an apology. Nigel, take me to the airport. No, Mother. Hmm? Nigel? Nigel! What do you think you're doing? Baby, this is your chance to move into first position. <laughs> I know! I'm coming, Mama. <laughs> Nigel, you've always been a good boy. You know, I understand this family a whole lot better now. Anybody for goose? Sure there's a lot of food left over. What do you want to do with it? Just throw away everything with meat in it. Mm. What about the cake? Yeah, that too. 
There's meat in this? <laughs> no, silly. <laughs> Look, I know you didn't want to take sides tonight, and believe it or not, I didn't want you to, but I'm really glad you took mine. I just wish my two favorite girls would get along. Me too. Maybe someday. Yeah.